Hey everybody, this is a final on the 57 Cadillac. Uh, it's been kind of a long process because I've been in between a lot of stuff, but uh, here's the final. It's an alright kit. It goes together somewhat alright. I mean, it is kind of weird on the body, and after getting everything done, the glass is really iffy. You know, right here, uh, it wants to be lifted up. That piece is not fitting right, and then this piece of the glass is a little bit crooked. And it just kind of got to the point where it was, uh, well, that's good enough, and then didn't go any further. This would just be one of them shelf queens sitting there. It's not a good enough kit to put a lot of effort in to get it to uh, be a show kit. Now, if you were going to use the, the base thing and do a lot of scratch building and all that, then yeah, maybe you have just to be able to get that shape. But it's it's fun to kit to build, and that's about it. It's not a a looker, but it's nice to have a Cadillac on the shelf because they don't always have them. But uh, so onto the build, I did strip all the chrome off because these pieces here were just regular paint these side trims here and then on the side, other side is actually a wire and uh, that way everything kind of matched the interior as you saw in the last video I did a lot of dry brushing to get that to look right this piece I stripped and actually cleaned up and then painted that the trim up above I didn't do the best job not very proud of that. Um, I should have actually took it off and then redid it. But uh, been so busy this time that uh, just really didn't go back through it. I did sand. There was some uh, uh, shrink spots in the mold. I don't know what the technical term is, but where the plastic actually shrinks and leaves a divot. There was a couple right here, so I had to sand it out. I did do my panel line scribes on all the lines. It did help bring those out. I think those were pretty shallow when I started. But the ones down here, they were pretty decent, but I did scribe those as well. I skipped painting the black tips, the rubber tips on the bumpers. Just because I didn't think I was going to be able to do it perfect. And if you ain't going to be able to do it perfect, you might as well not do it at all because it would look better not there than bad. And then I sprayed a, a layer of clear over the whole thing. And uh, didn't buff anything out. You don't really have to. It actually has a nice shine to it. As we take this off here. Well, there's the top. It's, it's, it's got a nice shine to it. I didn't wet sand it at all, so if I actually took the time and did some wet sanding, it probably would have done pretty well. And then here is the bottom. I did a little bit of, just a little bit of wash, did some hand painting on most of the stuff, and then did a quick wash. Now, make sure you glue that in last, so that way you can get your axle in. Um, I end up breaking one of these off when I was trying to get that glue when I was or fighting one of these windows glued down um, and I ended up messing up that windshield I had, I had a lot of problems with this one for an easy kit I, I think because I was just preoccupied wasn't really putting my effort into it but uh, I look alright on the shelf I guess it's not one of my good ones remind me that I need to focus a little bit better when I build them but there it is there's the final it's not a bad kit if you like the car I mean it's you can make something of it and if you take more time than I did and uh, maybe you can figure out a different order to put everything in if you wanted a, a show car glue that interior tub into that top piece and then glue that 
and just do a ton of masking and then but then before you do any painting make sure you fit these windows in and this piece in and the windshield in before you do any painting because I didn't do any dry fitting of those and you had to take a lot out a lot more than I was expecting I was thinking that it was actually going to be just flopped right in there because when I hand did it it wasn't too bad but so it is a little bit of goofy um, this seam here is a lot bigger than it should be that one could have been made better and this one when it comes around is actually a good seam it looks nice so it looks nice on that side that could have been filled so there's a lot of things that you can make better I just didn't didn't do that so hopefully you like it maybe you learn some things when you go build yours or if you decide not to build it uh, from this review so hopefully you guys have a great one I'll talk to you next time bye